In this video, we are going to do an introduction to WordPress admin dashboard. So let's get started. We are here in our WordPress admin login page. From here, you have to insert your username and password to access your WordPress admin dashboard. So we're going to go ahead and add in our credentials. All right, after that, we are going to click on login. And this is our WordPress admin dashboard. From here, we can see there are a lot of items on the left hand side. And on the top, we can see a toolbar. And on the center, we can see some content. So let's go ahead one by one and understand what this is. So first, let's look at the toolbar over here. On the left corner of the screen, we can see the WordPress logo. So if we hover our mouse over here, we can see there are a few options. About WordPress, Get Involved, WordPress.org, Documentation, Learn WordPress, Support, and Feedback. So in case you need to learn WordPress, if you need support, if you want to provide a feedback or look at the documentation, etc., you can visit any of these links. Right beside the WordPress logo, there is a text called Hummingbird. Now, this is the name that we have chosen for our website. Whatever name you give to your website will appear over here. Now, also, when you hover your mouse over here, you can see there's an option that says Visit Site. So if we click over here, it will take us to the front end of our website. We will take a look at that later on. First, let's take a look at all the items over here. Here we can see another option. This is the comment section. So any comments made on your website will appear over here. If we click on it, it's going to take us to the comment section. Now, this is just the default comment so that you can see how it looks like, but we're not going to take a look at this right now. We're going to go back to the dashboard over here and we can see there's another option called new. Once we hover a mouse over here, we can see four options, post, media, page, and user. So you can create new post, add a new media file, add a new page, or a new user. Now these options are also found over here. So if you look at it, the post, media, page, and user. Here's the post, the media, page, and users. So you can create new posts, create edit pages, posts, or users from here as well, but this is the shortcut. Over here, we can see the database we're using. And finally, over here, we can see the admin username. So here we can see the profile picture of our user. We can also edit our profile. This will directly take us to users and profile settings. And finally, we can log out of our admin dashboard by clicking over here. Now, these were the options that we can find on the top bar. Now, on the left hand side, we can see there are several options over here. The first option that we are going to see is the dashboard. Now, the dashboard has two parts, the home and updates. In the home section, we are generally going to see this over here. Welcome to WordPress. Learn more about the 6.7.1 version. So this is the version of WordPress that we are using. Now, depending on what kind of version you're using, this design might change. Here we can see some information about this version, and we can take a look at a few options such as site health, quick draft at a glance, activity, WordPress events, and news. So this actually gives you a basic idea of your website or a quick update of your website. You can take a look at the site health status. So how your site is doing, you can learn from here. You can look at a glance, the content of your website. We have one post, one comment, and one page. And the theme that we are using, the activities in our website, we can look over here. We can also make a quick draft from here as well. And finally, we can take a look at some WordPress news and events. Now, you can also drag and drop these boxes around anywhere you want. You can design it in your own. Okay, so I'm going to place it back over here. And you can also remove this section just by clicking on dismiss over here. So if I click on dismiss, it's going to go away. Now, on the screen option, we can also bring the welcome message back on just by clicking over here. We can remove any of these things if we want. For example, if you don't want the WordPress events and news over here, you can just remove it and you can see it's gone. Okay, so in this way, you can choose what you want to display and what you don't want to display using the screen options. There's another option over here that says help. From here, you can get the overview, navigation, layout, content, all information are over here. So as the navigation, the left-hand navigation menu provides links to all WordPress administration screens with submenu items displayed on hover that you just saw. Okay, so you can get all the information from here. Okay, 
So that was the home page. Now there's another page called update. So if we click over here, it's going to take us to the update section. From here, you can update your version of WordPress. Here it also says which current version we're using. Also, our automatic update has been switched on. So it says this site is automatically kept up to date with each new version of WordPress. You can also switch to automatic updates for maintenance and security releases only. You can also reinstall your WordPress version from here. You can take a look at the plugins and themes update over here. In case you want to update any of those manually, you can do it from here. Now, these were the dashboard options. Now, let's move on to the posts. If we click on posts, it's going to show us all the posts over here. So we currently have a dummy post called Hello World, which is added by default. We can take a look at the title of the post, the author, categories, tags, comments within the post, and when this post was published. You can edit this post, quick edit this post, delete this post, or even view this post. You can add a new post just by clicking on add new post. Now, before we view this post, let's actually view our website. To view the website, we can simply hover our mouse over here and click on visit site. And this is our website. It's just a default fresh site without any theme customization. That's why it looks like this. But don't worry, you can design your WordPress site and style it as you like. By default, this is the design that we have. You can see there's one post. So that's the post that we just saw. If you click on this post, this is it. Welcome to WordPress. This is your first post. Edit or delete it, then start writing. And here's the comment that we saw. Now let's get back to our dashboard. We're simply going to hover a mouse back over here and click on dashboard and we can get back to our WordPress admin dashboard. So from here, you can add new posts, add new categories. Uh, if we click on categories, we can add a new name, slug, description to the category. We can also attach a parent category if we want, and we can also create tags in the same way. So these are the post options. Next is the media library. All your media files are stored over here. Your images, videos, audios, documents, everything is stored over here. Currently, we can see it says no media items found because this is a fresh new WordPress website. We have no files over here. But when you upload your files, you will find all of them over here. You can also add a new media file just by clicking over here or right here. So if I click on it, you can see we have the option to select a file from our computer. The next option is the pages. So from here, you can create a new page. You can view all the pages that are here. You can see the author, the date, these pages were published. All the information can be found over here. In the comment section, all the comments on your website from here, you can also remove these comments, reply to these comments, quick edit or edit these comments. You can also unapprove this comment. So this comment has been approved and it's being displayed on our post. But if we click on unapprove, this comment won't be displayed on the post anymore. The next option is the appearance. So if we click on appearance, it's going to show us the themes section. In order to create a website, you need a theme. Now, these are the themes that are already installed on our site. The 2025 theme is currently activated. If we click on theme details, we can find the details over here. We can find the name of the theme, the version, who is this theme created by, if you want to enable auto updates, etc. You can also customize this theme just by clicking over here. To add a new theme, we can click on this button and it will open up this section where you can install the theme that you want. You can browse and find the theme that suits your style. The editor is basically where you can edit your website. So if we click over here, it's going to open up the full site editor. Using the full site editor, you can design different aspects of your website. Not all themes use the full site editing. Some themes actually use this, but the default WordPress themes use this full site editing feature. Now, depending on what theme you're using, you might see more sub options inside the appearance menu, such as menus, widgets, etc. Now, to add new features and functionalities to our WordPress website, we use plugins. Currently, there are two plugins installed on our site, the Hello Dolly and the Akismet Anti-Spam Spam Protection plugin. Now, these plugins can be found by default. The Akismet is a popular plugin for protecting you against spam. Now you can see that these plugins are disabled. We can activate them just by clicking over here. We can find other information of the plugin, such as the description, the version, the author of this plugin. We can view details. We can also enable auto updates from here. To add a new plugin, we can simply click over here or here. And it will open up the plugin repository. From here, we can find the plugins that we want. So there are a lot of plugins. If we click on the popular tab, 
we can find all the popular WordPress plugins. Now, these plugins add several important features to your website. For example, Elementor is a popular website builder plugin. Now, Elementor is mainly a page builder plugin, but throughout the years, it has received many updates. Now, it's called Website Builder. Contact Form 7 allows you to add forms on your website, while Yoast SEO is a popular SEO plugin, which helps you with your SEO. In this way, you can install these plugins and add new features to your website. To install a plugin, we simply click on this Install button. And once the plugin has been installed, we are going to see this Activate button. For example, this plugin is already installed. We can simply click on the Activate button to activate the plugin. We can also find other information such as the ratings of this plugin plus the active installation, if the plugin is compatible with our current version of WordPress, when it was last updated, the description, the author of the plugin, and to know more details we can simply click on this more details and it will show us the details. We can also upload plugins. So if you have a pro plugin downloaded, you can click on this upload plugin button, choose a file and install it from here. Not only Pro, you can also download free plugins and install it through this process as well. Next, let's go to the Users section. From here, we can take a look at all the users of our website. Currently, I am the only user and I am the admin and I can see my name over here. To edit our profile, we can simply click on Edit and it will take us to the Profile section. From here, we can choose the Visual Editor, we can choose the Admin Scheme Color, Keyboard Shortcuts and actually customize our user first name last name nickname contact information everything can be found over here okay to add a new user we can simply click on add a new user from here we can add a username email address first name last name website we have to generate a password then we can select for which role we want to register as and then click on add new user and the user will be added now the profile section we have already seen so let's move on to the tools Normally, when you're working with WordPress, you do not need to visit the tools section that much, but here you can find some important tools of your website. For example, if you want to import any settings. So if you have posts or comments in another system, you'll be able to import those into this site. If you want to export something, you can do it from here. You can export all content posts only, pages only, or media only. You can select which media you want to include or exclude from here as well. From here, we can take a look at the site health. It says results are still loading, so we are not seeing the full information. If we click on the info tab, we will have more information available. We can export personal data. We can erase personal data. We can take a look at the theme file editor. Of course, if you're not an experienced user, we would advise not going or touching any of this over here. You can see there's a notification over here. It already warns us that you appear to be making direct edits to your theme in the WordPress dashboard. It is not recommended. Editing your theme directly could break your site and your changes may be lost in the future updates. So I'm going to click on go back because I don't want to make any theme file changes. Same goes for the plugin file editor. In case you know what you're doing, you can edit your plugin files, but if you're not sure, just simply click on go back and it will bring you back over here. Now, finally, there's the settings option and here you can find many important information. For example, the first option we can find is the general option. From here, we can choose our site title. So our site title is Hummingbird. You can see it's written over here. We can change the name if we want. We can also add a tagline if we want. We can add a site icon. We can take a look at our WordPress address URL, our site address URL. We can take a look at the administration email address membership so if we enable this anyone can register to our site but if we disable this no one can register to our site we can also choose the new user default role we can choose the site language time zone we can change the date format we can change the time format when the weeks start we can choose everything and finally when we are done we can click on save changes to save all our changes in the writing section we can choose the default post category default post format mail server login name password etc in the reading section, we can choose our home page displays our latest post or a static page. Normally, when you're working on a theme, what you do is select a static page and select your home page and post pages from here. But by default, your latest posts will be selected. Here you can select the blog pages show at most posts. Syndication feeds show the most recent items. For each post in a feed, include full text or excerpt only. You can also take a look at the search engine visibility. If you want to discourage search engines from indexing this site, you can enable this. But since we are running a local host website, we 
are not going to bother with this option. In the discussion panel, you can take a look at the comment section or how you want to regulate your comments from here. You can take a look at different comment options such as attempt to notify any blogs linked to from the post, allow link notifications from other blogs or new posts, etc. In the media section, you can choose the thumbnail size, medium size, large size. You can specify what these image sizes will be. In the permalink section, you can choose the permalink structure of your website. You can either choose the plain, day and name, month and name, numeric, post name or custom structure. Normally, the plain or post name are selected, but if you are an advanced user, you can choose the custom structure and add a custom structure to it. You can also add category base and tag base from here. From here, we can take a look at the privacy settings and information from here, policy guide, all will be given over here. You can find the SQLite integration here as well. And final option actually collapses the menu. So these were the information on WordPress admin dashboard. Now you know what all these options mean. And of course, when you add new plugins or new themes, more items will be added on this left sidebar or on top bar as well. So we hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress.